Devo time, people. Welcome to Thursday. It's uh, just two days away from Saturday night at the movies. Now, there's still room uh, that, that's there at Crown Point. You can come to Crown Point Saturday at 7 o'clock for a showing of the Back to the Future sermon from 2022. Uh, but for you to come, you need to bring someone with you who doesn't go to FCC. Now, just a reminder that to do that, we need you to register for it. Don't just show up, okay? Tickets are free, completely free, but we need you to register on the website and, and under the events button that's on the website, and you'll find the, the logo for Saturday Night at the Movies. Click on Get Your Tickets Here, and you can just put in your name and the name of the friend or friends that you're bringing with you. That's it. That's all you have to do. So we hope that, that we're going to get to see you there, and we're pumped about that. Uh, Sunday, we talked about uh, second chances, and we talked about our willingness and our ability to, to give second chances to other people in our life. And grace and forgiveness are perhaps uh, more easily received than given in some cases. Uh, do you have anyone in your life that you think of right now who, who's kind of hurt you and who's wounded you so badly that it would be really difficult for you to extend grace to them right now. You can't even imagine how that could happen. I think we all have folks like that. It might be a friend or a former friend or family member, maybe even an ex who has just left your feelings uh, for them balled up and crumpled over in the corner. But remember, your sin and my sin, uh, the, the, the intentional and the unintentional moments of our life have been just as hurtful and just as offensive to our creator and our God. And yet he forgave us. I mean, offered us grace and suffered so that we wouldn't have to. But there's the other side of the coin for those of us who know Christ and follow him. And the other side of the coin is not the, the life that could have been, but it's the pay it, pay it forward attitude that needs to exist within us for the rest of our life. It's not dwelling on our past, it's dwelling on our future. Relationships that we have with other people can sometimes get really messy and really awkward and really messed up and yet when that happens, forgiveness is really the only way through. It's the only way forward. But here's the difficulty. When you have a real relationship with someone, the lingering effect of hurt is far more difficult to overcome. And think about it. When a stranger hurts us, we kind of move on. We, we get over it. We don't dwell on it too much. But when a real friendship or a real relationship burns us, man, the mountain of pain is hard to get over. It's hard to get past. But what does Colossians say about our relationship with others in parallel with our relationship uh, that, that we have with other people we may know? It says, make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. There's a connection between God's love for us and our love for other people. Paul doesn't just say you should or, hey, try it if you can. He says you must make allowances for each other and forgive those who offend us. I don't like hearing that any more than you do. Um, there's, there's some people in my life who've really wounded me, and it's hard to imagine forgiving them. But as those who have done the wounding to our Heavenly Father, the action seems more than warranted for us. And yet, it may mean swallowing our own pride or pushing away some feelings of division that have existed in our heart for a long, long time. But if that's the case we are starting to get a good feel for what it must have felt like for Jesus. I mean, just consider that as he went to the cross as a sacrifice for us, there had been thousands of years of sin and offense building up over time. And it was building up with lots of relationships. If Adam and Eve were 4,000 years or more earlier, then that's a long time to live with that hurt. But then there was Noah and there was Abraham and there was Isaac and Jacob and Joseph and all of his brothers. And there's David and Elijah and, and Elisha and Solomon and 31 kings of Israel and Judah who wanted nothing to do with God. And all of that and all of those years were piling up on the hurt, plus the people not highlighted in the Bible, which is a bunch, plus the people who were in Jerusalem calling for Christ's crucifixion when he was crucified, plus the abandonment of his closest friends who ran away, all of that hurt was felt in conjunction with the physical pain that he endured on the cross. And yet he followed through to forgive us and give us grace, to offer a second chance to all of us. And if it feels off or hurtful or unfair to forgive and give a second chance to someone in your life, you're getting a little taste of the hurt and the pain that Jesus knew. And he's telling you, not asking you, 
to give that grace to someone else, to give them a second chance, to be willing to forgive even when it has hurt that bad. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you and we praise you for the sacrifice that makes it possible for us to be in a relationship with you. It's a sacrifice that you did for us. We had nothing to do with it. You did that for us, knowing how much we had hurt you and how much we would continue to hurt you. And yet you loved us so much, it was worth the sacrifice to you to kind of get us around you. It's hard for us to kind of put our heads around that, God, but we thank you for that kind of love, that kind of sacrifice that you now turn to us and ask us to give to others. Would you give us the courage and the stamina and the patience to be those kinds of people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, folks, last time for this week. Saturday night at the movies happens this Saturday night. We've still got room at the theater. It's you and a friend who doesn't go to First Christian Church. Absolutely free. All you got to do is go on the website, register, get your free ticket there. You, you probably won't even get anything sent. I think you'll get a little reminder that says, hey, you've registered. We're going to click all those people off once you get to the theater. The, the show's at 7 o'clock this Saturday night. We'd love for you to be with us and hope that you will take advantage of the way to invite somebody to something that's kind of unique, kind of special, kind of out of the building and over at Crown Point that maybe will be more comfortable for them. But at the same time, at the movies, week two happens this Sunday, 9.30 and 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock online, free popcorn for everybody. It's going to be a great thing. New movie, different movie, um, different theme, and it's going to be awesome. I hope that you're going to be with us. It's going to be uh, easily as good as last week, and, and we're looking forward to it and hope that uh, you'll be with us 9.30 and 11 o'clock and 11 o'clock online. We will see you at some point this weekend.